what do we do now that we're done celebrating the resurrection? You know, it's Monday morning, Easter is over, things are going back to the way they were before Easter. So what do we do now that Easter's over? What do we have that's worth celebrating? When I was in college at Ozark, it was my freshman year and I was taking an Acts class, and uh, one of our assignments was to print out this giant chart, all the sermons that were preached in the book of Acts, and we were required to read through the book of Acts, record a whole bunch of things, and make mention of everything that they talk about in those sermons. So did they talk about repentance? Did they talk about the Spirit? Did they talk about baptism? Did they talk about the resurrection? And one of the striking things that I found, many people have found this long before me, wasn't there by accident, is that in every single sermon after Jesus ascended, in every single sermon, there's a mention of the resurrection. Every sermon talks about Jesus rising back from the dead. See, the apostles, when they went about preaching, when they went about their daily lives after Jesus ascended, they didn't stop talking about the resurrection. It was everything to them. In 1 Corinthians 15, this is even years after some of the events that took place in Acts, 1 Corinthians 15, Paul writes this to the Corinthians. He says, what I am writing to you is of first importance. Christ died in accordance with the scriptures. He resurrected in accordance with the scriptures. Evidently, the resurrection of Jesus was not something that they just talked about around Easter. And so at the risk of sounding like white noise, like sounding like a, a broken sound machine, May I encourage us as a church to not simply stop talking about the resurrection because Easter is over. The power of the resurrection is still a place in our lives, and we should still be living that new life that Christ offers us through the resurrection. Constantly bringing it up, constantly living like Christ did that, and constantly gaining the victory over sin because of the resurrection of Jesus. That's my encouragement to you today, church, to keep the resurrection the foremost of your thought. Have a blessed day, and may the Lord protect you.